Good afternoon, everyone. Before we start our event, make sure you will follow our house rules. Mute your audio and turn off your webcam during the presentation. Turn it in only when needed. Respect the speakers on the floor. Note that you can provide questions via the chat mechanism on the online meeting software. Create a discussion or ask questions during a discussion period, as mentioned by the speaker related to the topic. Do not close your session or log out during the seminar. You may leave any time in between, but your re-login may not be connected as it may interrupt the system. You can log out after the event finishes. While we are waiting for the other participants, you may also drop down your name, location, and simple greetings for everyone at the chat box. And lastly, don't forget to fill out the attendance and evaluation form later. The link is posted at the chat box. Thank you. Thank you. 
Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Online Productivity Tools for Teachers. And this is a four-day free training for everyone. On our first day, we have the Google Forms and Google Sheets by Mr. Joshua Elizar Domen. And for our day two, April 6, 2021, 5 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Manila time, it is G Suit account Google Meets and Jamboard by Ms. Jenny Lu Pangilinan Liel. And our third day, April 7, 2021, at 5 p.m., 8.30 p.m. Manila time, file management and Google Drive and file sharing apps by Dr. Neil P. Balba. And on our fourth day, April 8, 2021, at 5 p.m., 8.30 p.m. Manila time, Data Privacy Act and Google Classroom Security Settings by Engineer Leo Cipriano L. or Bistondo Jr. And again, before we start our event, make sure you will follow our house rules. Mute your device audio and turn off your webcam during the presentation. Turn it only when needed. Respect the speakers on the floor. Note that you can provide questions via the chat mechanism on the online meeting software. Create a discussion or ask questions during a discussion period as mentioned by the speaker related to the topic. Do not close your session or log out during the seminar. You may leave any time in between, but your re-log in may not be connected as it may interrupt the system. You can log out after the event finishes. While we are waiting for the participants, you may also drop down your name, location, and full greetings for everyone at the chat box. Don't forget to fill out the attendance and evaluation form later. The link is posted at the chat box. Thank you. Before we formally start our event, we have our invocation and national act. Oh, my God. 
Welcome participants and guests to our first day of webinar, Google Forms and Google Sheets. And of course, this event would not be possible without the help and support of our organizations. And of course, it is spearheaded by the Institute of Engineers of the Philippines, Cavite and Laguna chapter, and it in partner partnership with the Department of Information and Communication Technology, DICT, Teachers and Employees Association for Change, Education, Reforms, and Solidarity, Cavite chapter, and Lyceum of the Philippines University Laguna Campus, and College of Engineering and Computer Studies Student Council, and Institute of Electronics Engineers of the Philippines LPU Laguna. To start our event, we welcome the father of College of Engineering and Computer Studies, Alpio Laguna, and a governor of ISEP, Laguna Chapter, Engineer Fabius Joseph Polinado. Thank you, Miko. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, good afternoon to each and everyone. I understand most of our participants are teachers faculty members, mentors, advisors. Uh, we teachers are considered as frontliners no? uh, as of this moment no? in the academic community. Why? Because we save the lives of our students. How do we save the lives of our students? We save our li the lives of our students by teaching them, by leading them to know the 21st century skills. What are these 21st century skills? These are skills to survive. No? Critical thinking, creativity, collaboration, communication, information literacy, media literacy, technology literacy, flexibility, leadership, initiative, productivity, and social skills. Those are the 12 21st century skills that we are trying to teach our students. With these skills, they will they will survive whatever challenges they will they will be able to to uh, to encounter. Why are we considered frontliners? We we save our students by help, helping them go away from mental illness. Uh, are you are you a kind of teacher that contributes to the mental illness of our students? I hope not. Okay, and. And, you know, in order for us to help our students, we have to equip ourselves. And through this seminar, I'd like to congratulate uh, the participants because you have made a, a courageous step to learn more. You have this humility, now you, you humility to submit yourself, that you understand that there are things that you may need to learn, that you may need to unlearn, in order for you to become more equipped, no? in in, in uh, in addressing challenges of, of today's uh, academic situation. No? Learning should never stop. No? And through this webinar series, I, I understand this is all about ICT no? tools. You you may you may come from different levels of uh, of uh, ICT competencies, but I hope that through this seminar you will be able to uh, apply uh, the, the knowledge and the uh, skills in using these ICT tools to help ease uh, the way you teach, the way you convey the information to your students, and the way you inspire your students. My dear fellow faculty members and teachers, technology is just a tool. No? But in terms of getting the kids to work together and to motivate them, the teacher is still the most important. Please remember that. A good teacher will will remain a good teacher, an excellent teacher, even if it's it's face to face or in online. 
That means if you're a good if you're a good teacher, you are also by by nature a good teacher in online. You just need to learn you know, the the skills, the ICT tools that uh, that are needed in order for you to to do this. With this, I hope that uh, in today's seminar we will be able to get uh, additional skills. So that will be able to help our students. So I thank the organizers, all the all the officers of various organizations, and all the especially the students who are are helping us in uh, coming up with these webinars. Thank you so much for your hard work. I know it's late afternoon. Kanina pa tayong umaga nag-webinar, nag-facilitate ng webinar, and uh, I know that God will be uh, giving giving back to you. All these blessings, okay, to you and your family, and and uh, to end my opening remark, I just want to to let you know that I am praying that everyone will be safe always, no, will be away from COVID nineteen. I hope that all the all the pains, all the hardships will be taken away from you and from your family, starting today. Itat, maraming salamat po at mabuhay po kayong ilan. All right. Thank you for that wonderful opening remarks, Hedin. And now let's proceed to the statement of purpose. May we call the COEX Alpio Laguna ISRO Chair, Engineer Ray Ann Barreconosa. Hello, everyone. Am I audible? Yes, sir. So, yes, sir. Yes, sir. My fellow teachers and mentors, this pandemic has had a significant impact on the education sector and provided a much need impetus for digitization. So I bet you would all agree that it has been a very drastic change when it comes to the education system and it, it has caught us unprepared. It has brought us a very big paradigm shift from teaching and learning methodologies forcing educational institutions across our country and even across the entire globe. So imagine uh, the traditional classroom learning shifting through the online mode of teaching to provide an interrupted access to education and knowledge. So uh, the whole world was unprepared for lockdown, even in our country is most businesses, they still manage to get business opportunity very quickly. While in our case, since we are in the education se sectors, our stakeholders are different. The same uh, approach that those businesses did was not valid for the mass majority institution in the Philippines. Since educational institutions were way behind in adopting technology, having focused more on classroom teaching and never having seriously considered online education as a credible model, we were slightly more unprepared than the other sectors. However, due to the incredible resilience and determination of us educators, we were quick to adapt to the new normal. So, uh, first, educational educators such as us have to make some additional learning and we have to upskill ourselves almost overnight to adjust to the new models of teaching. So ensuring that the learning remains accessible for our own students. So even in the current circumstances. So with the learning shifting from the public space to a more personal space, which is online, the role of us educators also evolved. As Hello, the demand for personalized Mytas. learning and online courses continues to snowball. We have to ask first are ourselves. required to learn as Almost. much or even as more than their students to deal with the new demand for future so ensuring courses. That the learning remains so I bet all of you uh, were shocked when suddenly this new course was deployed without even so the particular training and we are expected to deliver this to our students. 
And they, as teaching become Hello, the demand my more personalized, the educators need to come up with innovative teaching methodologies on a case-to-case -case basis to suit the learner's requirement. We need to capture not we need to capture also our students' attention aside from delivering uh, our courses to prevent them from doing something like uh, the past issue that was mentioned wherein students are playing while they are in class. Okay. So we need to suit up the learner's requirement. This is why we gather now today to help everyone by sharing in these four days our knowledge and best practices in these times of crisis. We do hope that everyone will be taking new things to their classes and may we continue to uplift the quality of education in our country. So, thank you everyone. May we all learn something from this four-day session. All right, thank you for that wonderful statement of Corpus Sir Ray -Ann, for enlightening us why these webinars are really important in the midst of pandemic. So we thank you for that, Sir Ray. So now let's proceed to our recognition of participants. May we call the CS Chair of LPU Laguna, Ms. Mirafe Prospero. Um, good afternoon, everyone. It's almost evening. So how are you? I hope everyone is okay. Um, in to present the participants in today's webinar, uh, we have strong 50 professionals attendees coming from different schools. That majority are college uh, teachers. Some are from the junior high school and senior high school. Okay, so we have to summarize. I hope I didn't miss. Uh, I, I I won't miss any. Okay, so from San Pedro Apartado National High School, we have from Manuel A. Rojas High School, Tondo High School, and then we have from Escuela de San Santo Padre Pio in Inc. We have also from Juan Cainta College, Pamantasan ng Lunsod ng Pasig, Arellano University, Pasig Campus, University of Rizal System, Antipolo City Campus, E. Rodriguez Vocational High School, St. Mary Magdalene um, School, Kawit, TUP Santo Tomas Branch, Renza National High School, and TUP Me. Okay, so that's it. So welcome to the webinar. I hope everyone will enjoy. And of course, so this is our learning platform one of our learning platforms okay thank you thank you miss mirafe so now let's move on to the introduction of the resource speaker may we call the board of director of icep laguna chapter and the board of director of mrsp laguna chapter engineer sarah grace de castro Good afternoon, am I audible? Is my sound clear? Yes, Paul. Okay. So it is my privilege to introduce to you our resource speaker this afternoon. He finished BS information from St. Paul University de Magueta in 2012. He is currently on thesis for Master of Development Communication, Master of Information Systems of, at University of the Philippines, Open University, he is one of the 10 outstanding students of the Philippines of Central Visayas 2012. He is one of the 30 outstanding students of the Philippines 2012 National with awarding held in Malacanang Palace 2012. He represented the country as a delegate in various international conferences, including Singapore, Malaysia, Japan, and India. He worked as a technical support engineer in the IT operations department of a technology company in the Megate City for more than four years. He also worked as a part-time university instructor teaching IT subjects for more than five years. And he is currently a project development officer at the development of information and communications technology Visayas Cluster 2 
under the ICT Industry Development Bureau and a recent YouTuber who discusses tech tutorials. So ladies and gentlemen, let us give a warm virtual welcome to Mr. Joshua Elizar Edelman. Yes, thank you, ma'am, for that uh, wonderful <laughs> introduction, huh? si engineer. Um, I hope, can we have um, a confirmation from our participants, if you could. Uh, thank you very much for confirming. So, good afternoon. In eight minutes, uh, good evening na, no? <laughs> so, I am currently live here in um, Dumaguete City right now. Um, although, um, my... Uh, my base is in Cebu City. I work in the ICT or the Department of Information and Communications Technology. And I am happy enough um, for inviting me here. So good afternoon or almost good evening na to my fellow teachers because um, I myself, I am uh, also a college teacher um, part-time here in Dumaguete. Um, but we have transitioned online. Ano? So even if I am working in Cebu, I can still manage to work for uh, or to teach for my classes. So, um, I just uh, want to check, um, am I right that our participants, or mostly, most of our participants are teachers? If you are a teacher, then you may actually, um, I think you can make use of our chat panel to confirm, no? yes, I am a teacher, or I am a proud teacher. <laughs> Or at least for me to know, know that you're a teacher. So for this afternoon, um, all right. So yes, you are confirming that you're a teacher. So by the way, um, I am invited by the Cavite and Laguna chapters no, of our organizations of ISEP. So um, these two places are actually close to my heart. Even if I am working here in Visayas, no? um, Cavite is actually the hometown of my mother. That is why at home, we don't speak Bisaya, no? We speak Tagalog at home <laughs> to accommodate my mother who, um, even after 20 years of staying in the province, she still could not um, speak Bisaya fluently, no? Because at home we speak um, Tagalog. While Laguna as well, I am actually earning my um, master's degree in Laguna right now. Um, it is actually UPOU, no? So I just study online, so I'm now on my thesis already so fingers crossed that i'll be finishing my thesis now. anyways um thank you for those who confirmed no that they are teachers um i just asked so that i can pattern or i can um uh, make it fit no our our discussion this afternoon for our teachers so i think i'm not yet allowed to share my screen no uh, maybe i can ask the hosts or admins to allow me to uh, share my screen. All right. Ayan na. Ambilis. So, hold on a second while I am sharing my screen. All right. I hope um i hope you can see my slides now am i right my dear participants or can you see my screen now yes Paul. all right thank you so for a minute All right. So, um, let's make use of our chat panel, no, or our comment box, or comment section, or chat panel. Please let me know if um, there are participants here who already know Google Forms. Meron na ba? Um, do we already have teachers who are using um, Google Forms para sa kanila mga classes? Baka merong mga um, nag-online classes dito no? sa ating mga teachers. Please let me know. Or kung hindi pa, go ahead. You can also um, you can share to me that 
you have no knowledge, you have zero knowledge, it's okay. Um, anyways, this um, training or this workshop is for you, diba? Um, for you to know or to be um, acquainted with using um, Google Forms. Ayan, so we already have answers. Merong may mga nakagamit na. Meron ding not yet. So, okay. So, for the benefit of those who still have not used Google Forms in their classes, or perhaps if you have events no, in your schools, then um, this training is for you. Pero doon naman sa mga um, nakagamit na, or marunong ng um, magmaniobra, no? or magmaneuver ng Google Forms, then let this be na lang um, a refresher or perhaps um, an adi additional knowledge, no? Baka meron kayong makuwang tips or meron kayong makuha na um, techniques na you, you might have not known pero pwede pala siya na feature dito sa ating um, na dito sa Google Forms. Alright? So, sige. So, just a brief introduction muna of um, Google Forms. Okay? So, Google Forms is um, a free survey tool that's part of G Suite or this is Google's complete office suite or I think Google Workspace na ito ngayon. I think they have renamed just recently by December ata yun. But nevertheless, um, the tool and the application and the package remains the same. So, they belong to this um, set of programs by Google Forms. And when we say free, wala ka talagang babayaran, no? As a Google account, you have um, all the luxuries of um, of using this um, of using this um, web na tool, no? Especially if you are a teacher, then um, this is really um, helpful to you. So, matanong ko lang din, meron ba tayong mga DepEd teachers dito, no? Or most of our um, of our participants come from the private schools? Meron ba? I am asking kasi I believe if you are um, a deaf ed um, teacher, no? if you are teaching in public schools, meron kayong ano, um, automatically you have a G Suite for education account. And very special kayo, no? very special ang ating mga deaf ed teachers because you have um, unlimited storage. No? Diba? Kami, so go, I am also working in the government, but um, I only have around um, 30 gigabytes na um, allowance for our storage capacity. No? But if you are a deaf ed teacher, if you teach in the public schools, or perhaps if, you're, if your private school has, um, has enrolled into the Google um, for Education accounts, then um, chances are um, ang swerte nyo because you have unlimited storage. So, ang sayo na, no? Kami, um, files, because um, paubos na ng paubos ang limited storage namin. Mga DepEd teachers natin, they, they have and pledge to make use of them, no? So, um, I hope, I really hope na um, you are using the free storage um, wisely. Diba? Kasi sayang din naman if hindi siya nagagamit. Um... So just a brief history about Google Forms. It started its life, no? Nabuhay siya or pinanganak ang ating Google Forms as a feature ng Google Sheets lang. So later on, I will actually briefly discuss about Google Sheets. But before, in 2008, no? Google Forms was just um, a feature. Hindi pa siya yung, yung Google Forms na we have um, right now na uh, very powerful na, na standalone application. So, back in the days, in 2008, it's just um, a simple feature in Google Sheets. And, um, so, ang Google Sheets natin, as, as you know, eh, perhaps, maybe um, most of you know already, it's our Microsoft Excel. It is our spreadsheet um, na application when we, when we transition to the Google um, applications. So, Google Sheets is our um, counterpart no, for our Microsoft Excel. So, in 2016, so, from being born in 2008 as Google Forms, it became a standalone app. So, people or Google has noticed how the users have been so, um, have seen 
um, Google Forms as a very helpful tool for them. And so they decided, or Google decided, to, uh, to, to make it as a standalone application. So I hope, no, if, um, by the way, I'm also um, a Google um, cert certified educator, no? Um, and if, if, there are, if there are participants here who also want to become a Google um, certified educator, then I, I really appreciate if you would listen because for tonight or for today, uh, tonight now because it's past six, will also come out in the um, examination when you also take and, and if you want to be certified by Google no, as an educator. Kailangan mo ding malaman ng Google Forms and Google um, Sheets. And so I hope that you will take note what will happen tonight. And if you have an extra laptop, no, or if you can actually uh, multitask with, your, um, with, your, with the same laptop or with the same device that you are using right now, then um, it's okay no? para makasabay kayo sa ating um, webinar for tonight. Okay? But if you have an extra device, no, then it would be better that um, while you are li listening to me, perhaps you are listening through your mobile phone, then you can, um, um, you can open your laptops so that, um, so that we can practice no? and we can do some hands-on exercises, right? which is Google Forms and, of course, Google Sheet. So, simply put, Google Forms lets you collect information via personalized or survey. So, saglit lamang po, lamang po ha, at I'm gonna fix something. It lets you collect information from people via personalized quizzes or personalized quizzes or surveys. And um, yeah, um, Google Forms is being used now as um, a quiz tool, especially for those who have online classes. No, ako I myself, um, I use Google Forms for my quizzes. Uh, online and I also use it for service no um, as, 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 I, as I have mentioned I am already on my um, uh, thesis no and um, during during the early days of the pandemic when I was um, doing my thesis bawal ang mag travel or there are restrictions or um, ang mga target participants ko I hindi ko ma maabot. <laughs> they cannot be reached because of course bawal ang travels and so um, I resorted to Google Forms and it's really helpful um, uh, malaking tulong niya for me to uh, do my um, to do my uh, my tasks or the things that I have to do okay all right now, Google Forms is now a full-featured Forms. If you have your um, Google account, na, it automatically may 